Alright guys, welcome to the second part of my FMC Techniques Tutorials. In this video I'm going to be covering pseudo blocks, pre-moves, and inverse scramble. Now, for starters I'm just going to cover inverse scramble because that's easier to talk about. So let's say you get a scramble and that somehow just gives you a last layer case like this. And you probably all know this OLL case, it's just that. And that gives you a Z-perm, and maybe you don't know a good ALG for Z Wait, that doesn't do it. Okay, maybe you don't know a good ALG for Z-perm that's efficient for fuse move solving. So you think, oh, what can I do, because this is your scramble. What you can use is you can use the inverse scramble. And when you do the inverse scramble, what that gives you is this. And I'm not sure if you'll know this OLL case or not, but it's pretty simple. So you just do the OLL case. And you find that, oh, it gives a PLL skip, that's really good. But since it's the inverse scramble, that doesn't actually solve the normal scramble. So what you need to do is you need to do the inverse of this solution, which is R prime U prime sledgehammer U R. You need to invert that, and then those moves will solve the normal scramble. So back to the normal scramble, you're gonna do R prime U prime, and then the inverse of sledge, which is hedge, U R. And then that solves it. So hopefully you understand how inverse scramble works now. It's not too hard, you just need to do a solve using it, and then you sort of get how it works. So the next thing I'm going to cover is pre-moves and pseudo blocks. Now pseudo blocks, what pseudo blocks look like is when a, all the pieces of a block are formed. So in this case you have a pseudo 2x2x2, two by two by two. you've got all the pieces, but they're not aligned, they're actually just pseudo. So here you'd need to do a D-prime to actually align all the pieces. So what you need to do for pseudo blocks like these, I mean, if you wanted, you could just solve a cube using a bunch of pseudo blocks, but it makes it hard to visualize later on in the solution, especially when you get to last layer, because then it's just really hard to visualize if pieces are not meant to be in the last layer. So instead, what you use is a pre-move. Now again, you need to align all the pieces with a D prime. So you take that D prime and put it before the scramble. So you do D prime, you do your scramble, and you do whatever solution you need to get to this point. And then instead of getting a pseudo block like before, you'll get something that looks like an actual block, an actual 2x2x2 two by two by two block. And with pre-moves, you've got to remember by the end of the solution that the pre-moves aren't actually part of the scramble, so you need to undo those pre-moves at the end. So let's say your pre-moves were F prime, D prime. At the end of your solution, you need to do a D and an F move, and that will solve your cube, because if you don't do that you'll get DNF'd and no one wants to get DNF'd. So that's how pseudo blocks work and pre-moves, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.